every single time I tell myself I'm not buying any more horses, I'm not buying any more horses, every single time this happens. Okay, guys, listen up. You have a new family member arriving, and he's little, and I need you to be kind to him, all right? Don't be mean. Welcome him to the family. I'm especially counting on you, buddy, because you're in the stall right next to him, so you're kind of like the, the babysitter here. Are we all in agreement? Okay. Are you going to be a good babysitter? Yeah, you got a little buddy to take care of. Hi, everyone, and welcome or welcome back. I'm going to introduce you to this new kid in just a few moments, but first I wanted to give you a backstory. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know we have an almost one-year-old colt named Dash. And let's face it, I'm a new YouTube channel. You probably haven't, so shameless plug, give a gal a little help and go check those out. Anyways, Dash is the gray, and this other baby is Vista. She's a 10-month-old filly, or female horse. I do not own her. She belongs to my friend, and they have been together for the last seven months. And in the horse world, once they hit the one-year-old mark and the spring weather comes, nature tends to take over. The raging hormones kick in, and that could result in a pregnancy, which is what we would never want at such a young age. They may be old enough to reproduce, but it would be dangerous to breed them at such a young age. So now they need to be separated. These two are the sweetest babies you've ever seen. It breaks my heart to separate them. They're like brother and sister. They started out in this tiny herd and Dash was the first to be weaned from his mommy, Diva. And when Dash got weaned, the other mare, Rain, this is mom, adopted him. Eventually, the four became two, and now it's almost time to have them go their separate ways. Horses are herd animals, and they need to be with other horses. So we had to figure out what to do about Dash and a companion for him. We own and breed thoroughbreds, so after weighing all of the options, we turn to the mecca of thoroughbreds, Kentucky. And there at an auction, we purchased Morgan. Now we live in Western Canada, and it's about a 2,500 mile journey for Morgan to get to us, which took around four days with stops and transfers. We were so excited to meet him and couldn't wait for him to arrive. He came off the trailer like a dream, and the shipper said that he traveled really well. And as I got to meet him for the very first time, I could tell I'm going to be able to fall in love with this kid really easily. He's a sweetheart. I could tell right away that he had been handled and had had good early training, which is a big plus. He's calm and super easy to lead, and I took him into a stall and let him settle in. Well, he's settling in beautifully. He's been so calm. He's not had any anxiety. Um, he's peeing, he's pooping, he's eating his hay, drinking his water, eating his, eating his dinner. It's fantastic. This is exactly what we want to see. He handled the really long trip from Kentucky to British Columbia really well. The head of the welcoming committee is doing a great job. These two seem really enamored with one another. It's so cute. And we now have a very sleepy boy on our hands, which is completely understandable. It's been such a long journey for him. So we're going to turn off the lights, let him get some rest, and check back in tomorrow to see how he's doing. Good night, everyone. See you in the morning. The next day we spent time just getting to know him and he and our son quickly formed a bromance. Remember I said it was going to be easy to fall in love with this kid? This is why. He also got let out to stretch his legs and run, which is so important after that long trip. And as you can see, he has plenty of energy to burn off. Now this is not Morgan's forever home. There is so much more waiting for him. 
This is a training facility and our other horses are here to begin their preparations for the upcoming racing season. When our season ends, our horses live on a large farm with big pastures where they get turned out and they're allowed to just be horses. The shoes come off, the halters come off, and they get to just be themselves for months at a time. And this is where Dash lives. So Morgan has one more short trailer ride to go where he will meet Dash and settle into the place where he will finish growing up. Make sure you subscribe because I'll be posting about that as I'm really excited to see how it's all going to go when they meet one another. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.